Yo, 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 what's going on, buddy? What is going on? We're playing Open Roads. I don't think it's too long of a game. I believe it's between two and three hours. Similar to Gone Home, kind of a story walking sim. We'll be playing as a 16-year-old girl traveling with her mother to uncover a dark mystery. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so we can look closer and then flip it over with D. I see, okay. I'm wondering if that's us on the left and then to the right is our mom and then maybe grandma. Me, mom, grandma. Helen, grandma Helen. Grandma Zadia. Nice. Pack up. Mom wants me to pack up my room to get ready for the move next week. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty close. Just a few things left before I can cross it off my to-do list. Okay, first things first, real fast. Gameplay, er, nope, no, 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 controls. Mouse sensitivity, let's just, honestly, let's bring you all the way down, that'd probably be fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay, test this stuff. Um, actually, let's go up a little bit more. Right there. That should be it. All right. Pick that up. Uh, yeah. Let's pack that. Why not? Tape. Don't want to forget our hairbrush. Hangers. I don't care about hangers. We can't bring the TV though. Oh, that's that's an L. That is an L. What is this? DVD Clueless. A rich and glamorous high school student tries to transform a new pupil into the most popular girl at school. But fate has other plans. Okay. Bubble wrap. Computer. Newspaper, okay. Calendar. Pack up the calendar for sure. Oh, we got Ah, him. Nevada. Home to all manner of folksy cryptids and cool dads. We gotta pack this up. For sure. Uh, that must be our dad. The fun zone. Laser tag go karts and mini golf. That does sound like pretty that's sounds fun. Yeah. Oh no, I wanted to pack that. Oh, just so read just zooms in on the text on the on there, okay? On the back of it. Me and Dad laser tag champions. Oh shit. Wait, a laser tag tournament would be kinda lit. Note. Search spots. Waterfront. They're all crossed off, except for Copper Harbor. Base of Lighthouse. Sure, bring that too. The hunt for buried? What is it? Boo oh bootlegger. Bootlegger treasure. Okay, I mean we gotta bring the treasure thing. What do we have here? Weekly weird news, America's only newspaper. Aliens are here and they want your favorite recipes. I married Bigfoot. She's great. All right, we don't we don't need that nonsense. We don't need that nonsense. A pen. What is, did I say? Pen for work from work. From work. Okay. So where, where does she work? Let's see if we can. Some kind of video galaxy. So the video store. Ah, uh, which must be why she has these over here. Yeah, video galaxy. Okay. Pack a poster. All night movie marathon. Yeah. It's a cool poster. Bring that. Do we do we need to pack up anything else? Birthday card. Who's this from? May you enjoy all your blessings of your coming year. So proud of you, Grandma. Can't forget Grandma's card. Let's 
Seems sentimental. Bring that. Let the radio play. Pack up the rest of the room. Yearbook. Sure. Memories. It's all this in that room. Another birthday card. But happy belated birthday. Sorry for the lateness, Tess Tessa Bear. Things get away from me here, but you're always you're always on my mind. We'll call soon. Can't wait, Dad. Okay, so Dad's not currently in the picture, it sounds like. Maybe a business trip or possibly a divorce. Not too sure. Push pins. Pack those up. Neptune Casino Lounge. Sure. We don't need the cup. Bring the book. We're missing anything else. Open. Okay, let's open the drawer. Helen Divine. Okay, so this is Grandma. Alright, Grandma died. Grandma died. In loving memory, Helen Sophia Divine, August 12, 1915, September 5th, 2003. So she was 88, right? 85 years, because it's 2000, add three more. Yeah, 88. First community church. Nice. Okay. Uh, pack that up. Nail polish. Web page design services and web publishing. Hmm. Plane ticket. Better leave these where mom won't see them. What is this? Boarding pass to Detroit. Why would you want to? Oh, wait. When was this? Where's the date? Where's the date? I can't find it. Let me just hit read, probably, right? Do not expose to excessive heat. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. All right, from Detroit to Reno. Okay. I'm not entirely sure i don't fly much guys i don't fly much so i don't really know what i'm looking at um who's this to though it's to us name of all right pastor is us we're from detroit to reno i'm trying to figure out the date like how long ago was this Maybe that's where her dad is. Possibly. Maybe he's in Reno. Bring that. Okay, I think we're good. Ted? Yeah? Come down to the basement. There's something I want to show you. The basement? What is it? Oh, it's nothing really. Remember, uh, this? Gah! Oh, I'm supposed to respond. I was like, what's, what's happening? I see, okay. Um, I love it. It's a little doggy. <laughs> I love it. Where did this masterpiece come from? <laughs> Your Aunt August made it when she was a kid. It's Lady, the dog we had when we were growing up. Aww. And Aunt August isn't a rich and famous artist now? <laughs> well, she is one of those things. Not a famous artist, though. <laughs> she rich. We've still got a little while before we actually move out, right? Like, a week? Yeah, 
about... The estate sale was... weird. Having all those people in the house, picking through Grandma's stuff. I'm glad it's over. <sighs> yeah, me too. Are you okay? Mom, I just... We took care of your grandmother right up to the end, and... And now they're selling the house out from under us. I know. Wanna just... Take a minute and look around and see what's left? I haven't really gone through everything since the sale ended. Yeah, me neither. That sounds really nice. Just looking through what's still here. Aside from this hell picture. <laughs> Amazing that no one bought it, right? Just shocking. <laughs> uh, so you're all packed up, right? Good to go? Uh, oh my god. Uh, Just remember that it needs to be done by Wednesday so we can get everything out of here on time. I know. Literally me when packing up for anything. I wait till the last second. Listen, but I get everything though. I don't forget anything. I get it all. I just wait till the last second. All right. Ma, or not mom. Most of Grandma Helen's stuff was sold off in the estate sale. I haven't really had a chance to look around and see what's left until now. Well, let's see what's left. With your doggy. Brush. What is left of grandma's stuff that people didn't get? Clipped out article. Leo Limbrose, age 43, of Orange Street, Greenville, Michigan, died July 28th. Okay, wait, they're in Michigan. I mean, I thought I saw something earlier they said Nevada, but uh, I'm wrong. They're in Michigan, and they flew to Reno. She did at one point. I don't know what that was for. Maybe her dad. Anyways, died July 28th. 1968 at Alexandria Regional Hospital. He was a veteran of Second World War, serving as a surveyor with the 173rd Field Artillery Battalion, scouting out enemy positions from the front lines. He later worked for Gein County as a building inspector. Surviving, surviving are his wife, Helen Lambros, and his daughters, Opal and August Lambros. Funeral arrangements under the direction of the Milton Family Funeral. Home... Uh, don't know how to say that word, but you guys, you know, you, you see it there, are incomplete. Okay, so this is Grandpa. That is Grandpa. Died real early. 68. Calculator. Mallet. ID. Oh, there he is. That's Gramps. When he was an inspector. So, did we cover everything over here? I think so. Let's go up here. Look around. Nothing really out in this room. Alright, we will clear the room. Bottom up, okay? Basement's cleared. <gasps> now we're gonna clear the main level. Pottery. There we go. That's probably dead. Main streak, no dice. Hey, Ma. Did Grandma start dressing like this after you moved out of the house? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. After my father passed, my mother, well... <laughs> turned into a hippie. <laughs> a bit of a free spirit, let's say. Doesn't look like that rubbed off on August much. I think it might have. To push her in the opposite direction. Okay. Let's go back to Dad photo. Get some intel. Oh, how did this end up down here? Huh. Must have been in a drawer of something that got sold. This is from one of the first digs Dad and I went on. 
<laughs> it was kind of adorable how excited you both got about going on those digs. I remember being so sure that we would actually find bootlegger gold. Or at least a clue about it. <laughs> Your dad. <sighs> well, at the very least, he certainly had a way of firing up your imagination. I'll give him that. Okay. So it seems like a decent relationship that they have with, with Daddy-O. Um, but what she said there at the end, possibly they are divorced. Because she kind of said, yeah, she kind of hinted at like he was a good dad, but he wasn't a good husband or something, maybe, you know? You could get that from that, I think. All right, so she's into pottery. Helen is into pottery. Okay. Let's go upstairs. What's that? Oh, hey. It's August. It's a phone call. Ugh, exhausted. The state sale was a lot. But... <laughs> that's easy for you to say. Yeah, I remember. And the answer is still no. I... Well... The what? Oh, right. Right. Sorry, it hasn't exactly been at the front of my mind. Yeah, it's around here, somewhere. No, it's fine. Okay. Love you. Bye. Unbelievable. What did she say? Nothing helpful. Is she still not gonna help us with the house? No. She was just calling to ask me to find some book of hers. Any idea where it could be? It must be upstairs somewhere, in your grandma's things. It has a red and black cover, white block lettering. I'll know it when I see it. Okay, let's go. So that was Opal's sister, so our aunt. Yeah, Aunt August called mom looking for some book that's important to her. For some reason, apparently. It's probably somewhere upstairs. August seems to be a little bit rude. A little bit rude. She clearly doesn't like her mother. Grandma Helen doesn't like her. Just that's the vibe I'm getting. We're looking for a book. I was wondering if it would let me use it to open boxes. What is that? I remember hiding in here with a flashlight to read my books when I was a little kid and we were visiting Grandma. And a box of crayons, apparently. We'd come to visit and I'd hunker down in here for hours. If some kind of game in my head, I guess. I'd be hiding in here and I'd hear Grandma out there in her room typing away or just reading in bed. I know she knew I was in there, but she'd always pretend not to know. And I'd pretend she had no idea I was hiding. I don't know why. I just liked the feeling of knowing she was out there. I have only slipped away into the next room, somewhere very near, just around the corner. The poem you read at Grandma's funeral. Mm-hmm. Voice acting is very good. Very, very, very good. I can already tell that it's going to be very good. Similar to Gone Home. Gone Home's voice acting was great as well. Now, this room's pretty much empty. Nothing there. Check all the drawers. I am the very model of a modern major general. La 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 da 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 mineral. What is this? Is this a play? Okay, so this is her mom directed this. Pirates of Penzance. Book and lyrics. Okay. 
music and then yeah i was at a theater okay i think this is a place so her mom directs plays directs rex plays so it seems like must be her gig okay Make sure there's nothing in that one. All right, nothing else in these ones. I don't see a book in this room either. Okay, where have we not looked? That's in our room. We pretty much looked all the way through that room. Um, did I go through everything over here? So I didn't open those. I don't know why a book would be in there, but you never know. Maybe on this side. Nope, no book. Okay. Um, can I go this way? No. Hmm. Where's the book? Ashtray. Hey, Ma! Actually, maybe I should just put this back. Okay, we're gonna read it like this because I cannot read cursive too well. I can read it, but I like I'll be very slow. Opal. So this is to the to her mom. Sorry to hear that mom's doing so this is from August. Okay. Her sister. Opal. Sorry to hear that mom's doing worse. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. I know this is a sore a sore spot, so it's the last time I'll bring it up. I really wish you'd let me help with mom's medical bills. I get that you'd rather have me there in person to help, but I just can't get away from work long enough to make that happen. I'm sorry that money is the only thing I can provide right now, but that's just the situation we are in. If you're stressed about everything you have to do, you can always send Tess down here for a weekend again. I love having her around. Call me if there's anything new with mom. Love, August. Okay, so maybe, maybe Tess, the plane ticket was... To see her aunt August. Maybe that's what it was about. Um, but okay. It looks like. I mean I agree. Like. If my mom is not doing too well. I expect every single one of my siblings to be. Over and helping out. You know if they can right. If they can. But everyone can make time. It's always time for everything you know. Everything that you care about, that is. Alright, is the book in our room? Oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. Poor little guy. <laughs> Pack that. Tess and Fran. So Fran must be our best friend. Ah, here we go. Is this it? No, this, no, it's not it. This is a happy birthday from Aunt August. Okay, I'm gonna pack that up. All right. Um, I didn't see a book. Did we look through all these drawers? I feel like we did. What do we have here? These are her classes in high school, Greenville High School. Chemistry, A. Yeah, those, those are some good grades. Those are some really good grades. Great improvement. Indeed, great improvement. That might be important. Okay. The book's not in here. Is it downstairs? Probably somewhere upstairs. How am I not finding this thing? Is it in this closet? Did I get distracted and I didn't look through everything in here? No? Wait, hey, hey mom. Here we go. Oh, somebody bought grandma's old writing desk? And her typewriter. He said he was an advice columnist too and wanted to use them for his writing. He said your grandmother was a real inspiration. He left a very nice note. And a lot of money? 
Well, <laughs> it was just an old desk. But it had sentimental value. For us, maybe. <laughs> and for him, obviously. Can I see the note? Sure. Let's see the note. Let's read this. Opal, your mother has always been an inspiration, not just to me, but to an entire generation of writers and readers. I can't tell you how much peace she's brought me over the years to be able to write where she did. Well, I hope a little of her magic crosses over to me. Yours, Ben Gerber. Okay, I mean, seems like a nice dude. Well, okay. I guess it's all right that he got it. <laughs> Glad you approve. I opened all these. Wait, maybe I didn't open all these. Want to know something? Your grandmother didn't write this. I did. You did? That's cool. Were you nervous? Why you? Um... Yeah, why, why are you? you? Hmm? Well, you're not like a... a writer. Well, I don't know. I think I did okay. No, I, I mean, you did great, but... you know, I don't know. Were you surprised when they asked you to do it? Mm, I, I think her editor, she just wanted it to be from someone she was close to. I guess she was hoping for a... family voice. I just tried to put myself in Millie's shoes. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Thanks. A farewell from Millie. And what was this again? Dear Millie, farewell from Millie. Dear readers, it's been a delight and honor and a privilege to write to you over the years. Few people are lucky enough to say that they love their job, and I'm grateful to be one of them. I've learned so much from all of you, and I hope I might have taught you all a little something, too. When I open your letters each week, I'm always struck by your passion, your drive to succeed and do better. We've talked about the worst of humanity and much more of the best, and you all will be an inspiration to me for the rest of my days. Even as this column comes to a close, I hope you're still, you'll still consider me a friend. I know I'll consider you one. Yours, Millie. Have you ever received, a, have you ever received advice from Millie? If you have a story of how Millie changed your life for the better, send a letter to Dear Millie, Fox, yada yada. At this time, Dear Millie is no longer answering advice. Okay. Who's Millie? Or is that just like... Does her mom just go by that name when she writes or something? I don't, I don't quite know. Maybe I missed something there, but... This book is, uh... Evasive. The hell is it in the trash can? No. Huh? I mean, I'm, wait. Can I go up here? Hmm. Could August's book be up in the attic? Could be. Want to go up and check? Uh, how, how do we open it? I I can't reach it. Oh, we need the attic hook thing. I left it in my room. So you just you jump and you grab it. Grab the hook and you pull it down. You just gotta jump. The steps leading to the attic are too high for me to pull down with my stubby arms. Mom said there should be a hook pull contraption for it somewhere in her bedroom. Alright, which bedroom is hers? Uh, I feel like it was this one. Wait, no. Is this her bedroom? Oh, here it is, yeah. Oh, here it is. The attic hook thing. Let's get in there. It's definitely up there for sure. Okay, come on up! <coughs> Damn, it's dusty. Now, where's that book? Where is that book? It's a magazine. Creepy doll. Okay, well, this is just creepy stuff. 
Why are these up here? You'd rather they were downstairs? Good point. I think my kids are gonna go through my stuff when I die and be like, man, all this stuff is so weird. Because I feel like I don't have anything that's like creepy or scary. But I've been in my grandma's basement and stuff, and I mean, there's some scary stuff down there. That's for sure. Oh, Grandpa Leo was a bowler? He and Dad have that in common. What do you mean? Dad loves bowling? No, he doesn't. But he's always wearing those bowling shirts. Didn't he used to be in a league or something? <sighs> Honey, he just thinks those shirts make him look hip. Bowling shirts? Are you kidding? He's right, they are hip. No, are you kidding? Are you kidding? I thought he must have so much bowling pride that he wore those shirts around in spite of them being obviously not cool. No, no. They're definitely a fashion statement. I think he got the idea from that movie Swingers. This explains so much. Like why you never once saw him actually bowl? Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Grandma's wedding dress? I wore it on my wedding day, too. And you can wear it when you get married. I'm not getting married. I think I want something more modern. Nah, uh, definitely. Definitely. I knew you would. Well, <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, I knew. I've always thought this was such a beautiful dress, and I'd always wanted to hand it down to you. Like your grandmother handed it down to me. Those sound like you reasons. Well, you just said you definitely want to wear it for your wedding, so I guess there are you reasons, too. <sighs> what? Mom, do you ever think maybe sometimes I just say things I know you want me to say? I mean, that's that's true. That's a true statement to say that. Mom, do you ever think that maybe sometimes I just say things I know you want me to say? So you don't want to wear the dress? I... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm ever going to get married. Well, I just... In the future, please don't patronize me. I don't want you to tell me something just because you think it's what I want to hear. You're better than that. Better than that? It's... I just... If I don't say what you want me to say, you don't take no for an answer. So when I asked if you wanted your grandmother's wedding dress, you said yes, but you meant no. I understand. You were just telling me what I wanted to hear. You don't want the dress. I get it. I mean... But it's a nice dress. It meant a lot to Grandma. And to you. Isn't that enough? I think the mom could have handled that a little bit better. Not gonna lie. She kind of handled that poorly. Of dog bowl. Oh, here What's we go. under Box here? Uh, here, let me grab that. I'll put it up here to look through. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of old stuff in here. But, uh, mom? Hold on, it might still be here somewhere. There's something. Ah, here what it is. Fuck? Maybe if your dad had read this, he wouldn't have stopped working at the video store. Mom! What's in there? Mom needs to listen up. Focus up, Mom. Listen to your child. Okay, forget about August's book. We found a weird suitcase in a secret compartment in the attic. Did Grandma Helen hide it there? Why? The answers may live within. Ooh. Let's see. Where's it at? Wait, do we already, do we already grab it? Oh, we did. Snapshots. Ah, oh, this is just some junk from the old summer house. Your family had a summer house? Well, it was more of a cottage, I guess. We spent the summers up there for a long time. And you've never taken me to visit? Well, I haven't been there since I was your age. We just stopped going one summer. The summer after my dad died. I think there were just too many memories there. 
Oh my god. What? Aren't you seeing it? Seeing what? Right here. Behind them? That's a freshly covered hole. Uh-huh. It's obviously the location of the buried bootlegger gold. In our backyard, you mean? Indubitably. Lady probably buried a bone there. Dogs don't really do that. Only cartoon dogs do that. Only cartoon dogs bury bones, but real-life bootleggers bury gold in people's backyards? In 1968? Yeah, it I was say a they different do. time, mother. Sure. Bury treasure. Okay, let's go get it. Postcard. Uh, we'll be together soon. I love you, and we're going to love our new life together, free and happy. Oh, so this is from Grandpa to Grandma. <laughs> well, whoever this guy was, it sure seems like he and Grandma had something pretty intense going on. Was Grandma Helen... In some kind of secret relationship, cheating on Grandpa, planning to run off with this guy. Oh, is this not Grandpa? Was this post... Was this while Grandpa... Hmm. Let's just say, yeah, was she cheating? Cheating on Grandpa? No! Not the Helen I knew. <gasps> Intrigue. Grandma, what were you up to? Okay, so... 1969. So this was after Grandpa's death. He died in 68, right? Flip over. Dinosaur. Okay. Possible, huh? Well, that's something. The papers. First one. Recently, one of my daughters gave me a tremendous shock. She's married. Apparently, her college... Bow? Bow? I don't know what that word is. And her... And her tied the knot without my knowledge. She claims... That they wanted to skip the wedding to save up for a house, but I'm very hurt by her exclusion. She knows that I have dreamed of a big wedding for a long time. How can I convince her that I that a marriage founded in secrecy will never last? Millie is a character. Pull it together. Okay, I'm just gonna ask the mom about this. Did Grandma write these? During the last summer, we visited the cottage. Was she... okay? Looks like her editor didn't think she was. It was only a year after my father died. I think Millie was still figuring things out, too. It must have been hard. I'm sure it was. They'd been married 20 years? I'm, I meant for you. Oh, right. I mostly just tried not to think about it. That... doesn't seem very healthy. It got me through. So was this about Opal and her husband, so our parents, Tess's parents. Is that what this is about? Uh, I think Millie is um, the name Grandma Helen is going by. She writes these things. And the answer, dear Mift, no. Half the battle of being a parent is allowing your children to make their own mistakes. Only time will tell if the marriage will stick and the only thing you can do is make the best of it. Consider the weight your daughter's been under, keeping this under wraps. We all have our secrets, myself included, and not to be able to tell even our closest loved ones can feel absolutely suffocating. While it can be hard to see a child make such a foolish mistake, the best thing mother can do is bite her tongue. Yours, Millie. Okay. Too harsh. Rewrite. Question two. My husband rekindled a relationship with his high school crush. A girl he hadn't seen since his Air Force days. They both, they're both they both married. And he told me they're just friends. Against my better judgment, I supported it. And they started spending more and more time together. Well, I should have trusted my gut. Coming home early from grocery shopping, I caught them in the act. Now I'm at a loss. My friend says get divorced. My mother says to stay together for the children. What can I do? You get divorced. No, fuck that guy. Get the fuck out of there. Hopeless in the heartland. 
Dear Hopeless. There's a no. No. Uh, nothing's harder than having your marriage fall apart before your eyes. Trust me, I know. It's hard to say what's worse, the sense of betrayal or the realization you've been had. Divorce is a tricky subject, no doubt about it. I'll tell you one thing, though. There's always time to start anew. Abandonment and freedom are two sides of a coin. Yours, Millie. Editor's note. No newspaper will allow you to argue for divorce. Okay. Alright, I'm still a little confused on who they're talking about there. I, I think... I think Helen is Millie writing these. That's what I'm going to go with. Cool van, funky van, hip van, groovy van. Pretty groovy. Groovy van. <laughs> I did love that van. The engine died for good while we were visiting the summer home, and so I just turned it into my bedroom after that. <laughs> you slept in a broken down van? Well, the summer house was small, and I always had to share a bedroom with August. When I realized I could have my own space just by sleeping out in the van, it was a no-brainer. Did you, like, redo it to be, like, a bedroom inside? Yeah. Your grandfather pulled the seats out for me, and I set up a little bed frame with a mattress and all sorts of posters and pillows and shelves and things like that. <laughs> wow, that's actually cool. Could I do that? With our car? No! Damn. We can't even do that with our car? Well, shoot. What are these rocks? Weird little rocks, homemade marbles, imitation jawbreakers, very abstract model, solar system, weird little weird rocks. Weird little rocks. Hmm. Ah, these little stones were from the stream near the summer house. You painted them? Me in August. The rocks from the stream were so smooth, but I forget why we painted them. <laughs> you were really that bored, huh? There weren't many TV channels back then. Mm, tragic. Okay. Vote Nixon. Grandma's diary? Should we? Oh, I don't think we should really... Oh, Grandma wouldn't have cared. True. I'm dead. What difference does it make to me? I can hear her saying it now. open it read aren't any help it just starts like that aren't any help aren't any help they think they are being good neighbors but if anyone should know where the path of good intentions leads it's these church ladies the children carry on best they can opal is caught up in her own teenage dramas as usual Almost as if it were any normal summer. August does worry me a bit. She's becoming caught more and more in her imagination. I wish I could help her, but there is so much I can't say. It is becoming a challenge keeping my correspondence with... Whoever that is. Conceal. It's only a matter of time till we're together again in person, but to hold it all inside, not tell a soul, it's almost too much. But he knows and I know. Soon enough, the waiting will be over, and this will all be in the rearview mirror. Or in the rearview. Postcard, Libertyville, Michigan, 1969, United States, Washington. Okay, Helen, all right. This space for writing messages. Forget about the past. Leo's dead. All that matters now is our future together. And that's Grandpa. All right. A key? What is this? So, Grandma and this guy were definitely together before Grandpa died? And they were gonna run away together? You never heard about this? No, this is- and, and what is this key to? Why is it hidden in here? Something at the summer home, I assume. I... Okay, well, now we've gotta go check the whole place out. Yeah, I agree. 
find out who this mystery man was. Maybe we'll find that bootlegger gold. I mean, I am more interested in the gold. Maybe we'll find that bootlegger gold? Oh, not this again. And to see if we can figure out what really happened with Grandma Helen and the mystery man. Don't you want to know? I don't know, Tess. I, we still have so much to do around here. Come on. It'll be fun. An adventure. I still need to call Tina at the theater and finish cleaning up the fridge. Come on, Mom. Come on. We never get to do stuff together. You spend all your time at the theater, and I spend all my time in school. When, when was the last time we were able to do something? To talk? Well... You do want to know, don't you? I can see it, Mom. I can see it in your face. <sighs> oh, God. You know, a little change of scenery... Yes. ...would be nice. Ha, ah, that's the spirit. We could spare a weekend before we have to move for a little road trip, right? To tie up some loose ends. Right. And some of those little towns along the way are great for antiquing. Yeah, sure. All right, it's a deal. Let's hit the road and see what we find. I could really use a break from all this, even if it's just for a weekend. Pack your overnight bag. Yes! And bring your homework. I don't need you falling behind at school. Do you really think we're going to find buried gold at your grandma's old summer home? I hope so. Well, no, not really. It's like Bigfoot. He's just... Fun to look for. I see. Very true. Like Nessie, like like X Files. I don't remember that episode of X Files. The one where they look for buried gold. Why would the FBI send them to look for buried gold? The government's always looking for money. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Well, if I find it, you'll be the first to know, and then the government. What about August's book? Who gives a shit? We can FedEx it to her when we get back. Okay. Okay. A road trip. This is gonna be great. Road trip time. We're on the road to the secret summer home to find out what's the deal with Grandma Helen's mystery man. Who knows what we might find? It'll be a while before we get there, though. All right, we're just gonna hang out in the car. Car registration received. What was this? One? Some gum, some chips, a soda, two two drinks. Wait, all of that for three dollars and seventy one cents? Where the hell are they shopping? Man, you go somewhere. To, I mean, just the gum is three dollars and seventy one cents. They're getting a steal. I gotta move to Michigan. I guess I don't know the time. I mean, it's probably like in in the 2000s. Or when did she die? 2003, so it's 2003 right now. I guess that makes sense, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Man, she was that cheap back then? That's crazy. Road buddy. They don't have a GPS. Driving instructions, North America. Send a printer. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Man, I, I remember having to do this when we go on road trips with my dad, and he would print these off, and I'd, and I'd read these to him back in the day. And now we just put it all on a phone. Pretty wild. Directions, distance. Start out going south. Yeah. That doesn't seem too far. What's the total distance? Oh, about, about two hours. 110 miles. It's not too bad. It's a nice little road trip. Open backpack. What are you doing back there? Are you going to do your homework? No. Reading in the car makes me car sick. Then what are you messing with back there? I don't know. So stop it. It's not safe. Not safe. I wear my seatbelt. Wait, do we not have seatbelts? 
It doesn't look like it, then why would it matter? Huh, okay. Hey, Mom. When did you say the last time you were at this summer house was? Oh, when I was, I guess, 15? Your age? I'm 16. I meant about your age. <laughs> Damn, don't even know her daughter's age. So a long time ago, so a super long time ago, just leave Bill enough alone. So a long time ago. Now, what was so a super long time ago? So a super long time ago. <laughs> wow. No one's been there since like the 19th century. Ha <laughs> ha. What was the Industrial Revolution like? <laughs> Tess, I wouldn't know. Did you ever meet Galileo? <laughs> Jesus, how old do you think I am? I mean, I'm just estimating. It, it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. <laughs> I'll say. It was the 60s, I think, summer of 68. 1968. So, like, 30... Five years ago? And you say you're bad at math. What was it like? The summer house? And the dark ages, but yeah, the summer house. <laughs> I just always really liked it there. It was an escape. From what? Everything, I guess. School, town, same old. Every day just felt like it was ours when we were there. So why did you stop going? So why did we never go? So why did you stop going? So why did you stop going? Oh, um, yeah, we stopped going as a family when I was your age, and then I went off to college and then married your father. Did dad even know about this place? I can't imagine dad passing up a free summer home where he could just hang out and do nothing all day. So you're saying your father is lazy? No, Dad's a hard worker. He's a man of leisure. Yeah, same He's here. He's a man of leisure. Is that what that phrase means? What else would it mean? He likes relaxing. Same. He sure does. It's probably why I never mentioned it to him. Because I knew he would never have put in the work to actually fix it up so we could use it. It needed a lot of work? Well, not last I saw it, but being unoccupied for decades out there in the middle of nowhere... It's got to be falling apart. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. Could still be in good shape. It's a long time. Yeah, you're right. That sucks. I was hoping maybe we could fix it up. And use it as a vacation home? <laughs> We're about to be kicked out of our actual home. What would we need a vacation home for? To live in? To live in? Tess, I... I'm sorry, it's... You couldn't live there, and not, not year-round. Why not? Well, it doesn't have central heat, or even really insulation. It's a summer home, not a winter home. No insulation in the summer, though? Ooh. That's gonna be hot. It's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? That's true. Fine. Then, where are we going to live? Now, let's hit it with the... It's better than not having a home at all. Well, it's better than not having a home at all, isn't it? Okay, you know, we're not going to be homeless. But we're getting kicked out of Grandma Helen's house. We don't have anywhere else to live. We'll find a place. What kind of place? I don't know yet. We're going to be living in this car, aren't we? No. Just like when you lived in that van. We can find an apartment. How are you even going to pay for an apartment? The theater company, uh, you know. I thought you said it was underwater. Well, you know, it's not doing great, but... Mom. What? When are you going to give up on the theater? We need money. Hmm. I mean, none of these are really... I shouldn't really say any of these. Like, it's not up to me. I mean, Tess can get out there. She's 16. She can get a job. I'm not going to tell her to quit her job, though. So let's we say this. We need money. Believe me, Tess. I know. If Dad was still here. Excuse me? He, he could help. 
pay for things. If your father and I were still together, we wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. Well, have you asked Dad if he could send back some money? To help? Absolutely not. <laughs> he, he doesn't have the money. But Dad moved out west for work. <laughs> well, don't laugh at me. I'm not. I'm not. It's just work. Sure. It, it wasn't for work? Then, then what was it then? I think I deserve to know. True. If he hasn't told you his side of the story, I'm not going to step in and take that responsibility for him, like I always did. Your father left me in a hell of a situation. We made all these decisions together. Do you not understand that? We made decisions that depended on us both, you know, sticking around. I didn't plan for any of this. <laughs> you idealize your father, you know that? And... I just don't really want to talk about it right now. Fine. Let's never talk about it. Let's never talk about anything important. She should definitely just tell her. Like that. Uh, oh, on my phone. Pretty sure I heard my phone buzz from the yellow from the glove compartment. Dad. Hey, Tessa Bear. Just thinking of you. Easy to forget about two. Easy to forget about weekends here. Every day is a work day for me. Hey, Dad, what's up? Not much at work right now, but good to hear from you. <laughs> Dude. I guess back then you kind of you kind of wrote like this, right? Because you had to, you didn't have the keyboard. How's work going? Good, making money. Oh, I didn't know this was options here. Would you be able to send some money back to help me and mom? Never mind, I'll ask you another time. Yeah, let's just see if let's see if it can help. I don't know if, if mom told you, but we are moving out next week. I think it's going to be hard for mom to pay for rent at a new place and stuff like that. Do you think you could send some money back to help? I loved a kid, but right now my liquid assets are all tied up and reinvesting at work. If I sent enough back that could help you, that could help you worth a damn without it sinking my business out here, you, you know I would, but your mom's always been the smart one. She'll figure things out, don't worry. Yeah, dad kind of seems sus. Something, something's not adding up with dad right now in his job. Okay. You understand, right, Pumpkin? Yeah. Did you tell your mom you bought the tickets? Not yet, so... I think... I think... She bought a plane ticket to go see Dad. I think that's what that was. Not yet. Me and Mom are actually on a road trip right now. We are investigating a family mystery and going to her old summer house. Can you believe it? Wow. You need to tell her, kid. You, wow. You need to tell her, kiddo. Or else I will. And you know she would freak... LOL. Okay, okay, I promise I will. ASAP. No, she she definitely needs to tell her soon that she's got a flight to go see dad. I know you will. Love you. Actually have to get back to back to it now. Treat your mom nice, okay? Love you. Talk to you later. Well, love you. See you soon. Are you sending text messages to someone? Uh, yeah? Yes. Yes, I am. To who? It's to whom, Mother? It was Dad. <laughs> hmm. Just getting his side of the story, huh? Uh... No comment. It's all right. Having a common enemy can help bring people together. You're not my enemy. Or Dad's. Sometimes it feels that way. Well, it's not supposed to. Tess kind of seems more mature than the mom. Mom must be going through it right now. I guess her mom just died. We don't know really what's going on with dad. Mom! 
My God. Are you okay? Or her I ex-husband. Just didn't think it would still be here. Um, Mom, it. Well, it is. <laughs> and it looks to be surprisingly well preserved. It's. Well, it's not just like I remember it. <laughs> A little more. Run down, falling apart of a dump. Just run down. Run down? Weathered than the last time I was here. But I guess I am too. Wanna start looking around? Yeah. All right. This isn't exactly what I pictured when mom said they had a summer home, but it's still pretty cool in a retro way. There's probably lots of cool old stuff inside from when mom was a teen and hopefully some clues to the identity of Grandma Helen's mystery man. That's inside. So this is the, the van that Mom was living in. I don't think we can go in here. Oh, here we Yeah, we can. It's your groovy van. And it's locked. Gotta keep all the groovy stuff in there secure. Please tell me the keys are somewhere. I need to see what a lava lamp looks like after it just sits there mutating for 30 years. They might have been... Hmm. I can't remember. Don't do this to me, Mother. I have to see how much tie-dye is in there. Please. Oh, August was always trying to steal my keys so she could get in there and mess with my stuff. They're probably in her room. Oh, the little criminal! All right, I'm on the case. The groovy stuff is so close, I can taste it. The van that Mom turned into her bedroom when she was a teen is still sitting here, but it's locked. She says the keys might be stashed in August's room. All right, let's go find August's room and get the keys. Is this, uh, is this a trailer home? It's a mobile home. What did I just say? They're not the same thing. A trailer home hooks up to the back of a truck and can be towed around. You can take it from place to place. A mobile home arrives on a trailer like towed by a big truck go on a mobile home doesn't have wheels well why didn't you just say that well I, I will admit it took me a moment to untangle the nuances I feel like I feel like there's something mom is not telling us right because vacation home And here we are. I mean, I guess it's a nice spot. I guess you could consider it's a vacation home. But then she never told her husband about it? That's the real weird thing. That's the real weird thing. So I feel like she's hiding something. Invitation. You're invited. Day, August 18th. 7 o'clock. Cindy and Marks. Okay. Postcard. So this is, I think this is from the same guy here. Darling, I know I'm running from something, but I have never felt so free. I just crossed the border and am writing you from the desk in a room at a motel, in a motel that's hidden off a little side road far from the main throughway. There's more driving to do before I find us a little place to settle down, but before long, I'll have a return address for you to write back to. Don't miss me too much. True color. Uh, you know, that city, Michigan, 969. Plant for more beautiful parks. Postcard, Helen, yeah. Well, would you look at this? A postcard from the mystery man. Mm-hmm. What was he running from? The cops, the mob, his conscience. Yeah, probably his conscience. His conscience? <laughs> I don't know if you can outrun your conscience by going to Canada. You can if, uh... I'm trying to think of a Canada joke. It's not working. That's okay. I'll give you an A for effort. <laughs> <gasps> Damn, mom with Bested. the jokes. Mom with the jokes. Okay. We got a key, though. Ooh. 
Oh, a little tiny key. What do you think it's for? Probably unlocking something. Ugh. Maybe a desk drawer. Desk drawer. On a little tiny key, I wonder what it unlocks. I wonder too. I can't see what's in the fridge. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested what's in the fridge. I'm sure it's so gross. But I want to look. I mean, it's like... Either people have been living in here or, like, messing around in here since they've been gone or, like, they left in a hurry. Dog food. It's when the dog was still around. Just wonder if I could say something to my mom. Like, I mean, there's silverware out, dog food's still out. That just straight up fell out of the closet. Sheesh, what happened here? Sheesh, what happened here? Looks like the wall gave way. Water damage, I guess. What is this thing? It's the water heater. Oh, that, that's why you said water damage. I get it, I'm following along. Well, it's not going anywhere now. Can we climb over it? No! God, look at all that rusty metal. I'm up on my tetanus shots, aren't I? We're not risking it. Well, what's that thingy back there? Hmm, it's a maintenance hatch for getting down into the crawl space under the house. Is there any other way into the crawl space? I think there's a way to get in from around the back. Why are you acting so excited? Well, if we could get into the crawl space, we could climb back up out of that hatch and get over to that side of the mobile home to find more stuff. I'm not sure why you're using the plural here. And also, I really want to see if there's any cool, creepy stuff under there. Like a skeleton. Listen, you can give it a peek if you want, but there is no way I'm crawling under there with you. You're on your own. Hey, no problem. More cool, creepy stuff for me. That's crazy. We're so worried about climbing over due to rust and, and stuff. That I'm just going to go in a crawl space. I didn't see much better. <laughs> a freaking water heater fell through the wall and you can't get around it. But there's a weird hatch in the floor. Maybe I could go under the house and come up through there. There's access to the crawl space around back. Okay. We'll do that in just a second. Stuffed animal. Oh, look at this big pink guy. <laughs> Kurt won that for me. At the fair. Kurt? We... Well, we met at the drive-in diner. <gasps> you had a summer fling? <laughs> I... Well... Was he cute? I thought he was very handsome. And he rode a motorcycle. Oh my god, a bad boy? It... Well... Honestly, I fell for him pretty hard that summer. It was pretty, uh... Cool? On his motorcycle? <laughs> he was very... Romantic. Oh, no. <laughs> no, not like that. Well, a little like that. Ah, oh, no. So, what happened? Did you break up with him, or...? Uh, I don't remember. It was just a summer thing, it doesn't really matter. Wow. Did I hit a nerve? Hey, maybe we should keep looking around for more relevant things. Yeah, the mom is not not an open book. She's really uh, keeping things in. Not good, not good. I'll tell you one thing. I will never ride a motorcycle. Because even if I'm, let's say, even if I'm like the best motorcyclist out there, like I'm so good, which would not be the case, by the way. But let's just run with that for a second. Let's say I'm the best. That still does not mean that somebody who sucks at driving, they w it'd be harder for them to see me because I'm on a motorcycle, I'm not in a car, right? Like, and they could hit me easily. So I'd be more worried. Like, uh, yeah, I would never do it because <laughs> I feel like your chances of death 
increase drastically if you get on a motorcycle. Not to the fault of the motorcyclists, but just to the fault of everyone else. St. Benedict Messenger, Michigan. It's that same guy. Bowling, men's link, blah, blah, blah. Announcements. Finance Committee. The Finance Committee is searching for new members to join their cause. If you're interested in assisting the committee, speak with Mrs. Nancy Simmons. Okay. Just looks like something maybe Grandma worked on. Put that back. Got a pamphlet here. Okay. Is this the drawer we can unlock? No. Any of these drawers? Use the little tiny key. Okay, so the key opened this drawer. Oh, we found another postcard. Darling, I've been driving up and down the highways and byways looking for the perfect spot. Somewhere secluded where no one would think to look with a little bit of space. And I know you always like to place near the water. I'll find something soon. Just keep by, just keep bidding your time and don't let on. Huh. Aha! They were really gonna run away together, huh? He thought so anyway. Whoever he was. Why do you think Grandma decided not to run off with him? Well, maybe she just came to her senses. She could have gotten swept up in all the emotions and everything after Father died, and then when the time came, she thought better of it. Maybe. Or... Maybe he thought better of it. Maybe something super messed up happened. Maybe something super messed up happened. <laughs> like what? Um... Okay. He was driving on these secluded back roads and whatnot, and he picks up a hitchhiker. And the hitchhiker gets in, and he asks him where he's headed. And the hitchhiker says, All the way to the end of the line, man. And the hitchhiker's just staring off into the distance like he's lost at some faraway place. And then all of a sudden, with no warning, he pulls out this huge rusty bowie knife. It's actually pronounced Bowie. What? No, it's like the last name, like David Bowie. Different last name. Bowie. Are you just messing with me? No, that's how it's pronounced. Okay, well, anyway, maybe this guy got killed by a crazy hitchhiker. That's all I'm saying. Well, that would be super messed up. I've always said Bowie. Is it Bowie? Let me know, guys. Let me know. Is it Bowie or is it Bowie? I've always said Bowie. But we got some more intel on the mystery man. That would be kind of crazy, though, if he just got murdered. That would be wild. That would be fun to, to uncover, for sure. Okay, let's go around back. And let's... Find the crawl space here. And climb up that hatch. Get on the other side of the house. Ah, oh, that was weird. Little hill there. Um Well It's locked. Where's the crawl space? Oh, here it is. So, this is how we get into the crawl space? You keep saying we. So, this is how intrepid people with an innate sense of curiosity get into the crawl space? Among other personality traits, yes. Fine then, I'll go it alone. You're probably too frail to get in here anyway. Those creaky knees of yours. Wow. Okay, into the filthy crawl space you go. See you on the other side. <laughs> Here we go. What the fuck? Okay. We're not standing up. It kind of feels like we're standing up, but we're not. I mean, hold up, though. It kind of... I mean, this is a big-ass fucking crawl space. Damn, this one's nice, too. I've been in the one under my house to run some, like, internet lines and stuff. It's not this nice. How the hell did this get down here? That's crazy. Okay, I know we're going to the hatch, but I saw these. Ooh, this is good. It's another Mom's postcard. gotta see this. Let's read it. 
I'm writing you from our new home right on the water. I was looking and looking and I realized there's no better home for us than one we could just pull up and just pull up anchor and split if we really need to needed to. So I bought us a houseboat. It's really something else. Bought it from an old fellow who'd kept it perfect and was just done having was just done having to maintain it in his autumn years. There's a rumor they're going to dam this river up, but that's a long time coming if it happens at all. Now, just to get you and those kids moved up here. I hope it's been a good summer. Right back, discreetly, and let's make plans for the big move. Something I've learned since Leo died is that being loaded with cash is the only way to live. Get ready to leave all your worries behind. All right. What is this? Oh, that's the boat. It's a nice boat. I don't mind having a little houseboat. All right, where is that hatch? I believe it's like, oh, it's right here. Mom, I found a way in. Hang on, I'll open the back door. Okay, the back door's open now, so we don't have to Hey, Mom, I found something. Look, look. Another letter. He wanted to live with Grandma on a boat? Maybe we can figure out where the boat was by looking at the photo. It looks like, well, it looks like a boat. A houseboat. Hmm, can't see much of the surrounding area. It's near trees? Maybe we can look for some of those. A place in Canada with trees. That narrows it down. It does. That narrows it down a lot. Go mechanics! Oh man, I forgot that August had this. I let her keep it when I moved into the van. But August didn't even go to Ford State. She almost did. We were both so excited to, growing up. Don't you remember Grandma talking about how much she loved it? I remember her talking about how sexist it was. Yeah, well, everything was sexist back then. But we're a Ford State family. You'll be a triple legacy. I'm not going to be a triple legacy. I don't even know if I want to go to college. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to go to college. I don't even know if I want to go to college. What do you mean you don't know if you want to go to college? Of course you're going. I can make my own choices. What kind of choice is that? To be broke? I'm not going to be broke. I've been working really hard on my design business. And August didn't go to college. August was lucky. She's talented, but she's also lucky. When I'm 18. Look, I, I don't want to talk about this anymore. It's not a discussion. Fine. Her mom really doesn't want to talk about any of the like important issues going on. All right. If this is August's bedroom, then that key to the van should be in here. Oh my God, Aunt August. A Ouija board? I have so many questions. Yeah. Called a spirito. Nothing that sure. I don't know. Dear August. Let's read it. Dear August, if you were upset after what happened today, and that's all right. You need a time to yourself instead of talking to me, and that's all right, too. But upset as you are, you need to remember, boys only tease girls because they like them or because they're different. You cannot control the cruelty of others, but you can discourage it through your own, you, through your own appearance and behavior or learn to play along. It's time to grow up now. I know you will. Love, mother. Not really. Sometimes dudes are just dicks. I don't know if I agree with this advice. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, no, I don't know if I agree uh, with this. I don't know if I agree with this advice. This doesn't sound very Millie to me. Millie was just a character, honey. Mm -hmm. I know, know but didn't she usually give advice Grandma would have given? How could you tell a little kid that getting picked on was their own fault? I don't know if that's what she meant. It's right here. She's like, if people are mean to you, you should change. What, the bullies are right? She never told me that kind of thing when girls were being mean to me at school. She just told me to be myself. I guess... Well, maybe if Mother could have gone back and given August the advice she gave you instead, she would have. Probably so. I hope so. Yeah, she probably learned from that. For sure. A paint set. A 
shovel and a map. Ooh. Okay. Well, we know where that is, right next to Doghouse. This looks like the hand of August. This looks like the hand of a bootlegger. Yeah, let's do that. <gasps> I knew it. Knew what? This map could only be the directions to the lost bootlegger gold. Tess, this was clearly drawn by a child. Perhaps it was a particularly childlike bootlegger. Seems more like August to me. Looks like she was just playing buried treasure. Do you think there'd be anything there to dig up that was left behind? It'd be like a time capsule. Maybe she was gonna come back for it later. It was her first investment. <laughs> she got started early. I don't know. Let's just go see what it is. Mom's gotta jump into the imagination, have some fun here. Jump on the bootlegger. Trend mom, come on. I found a map buried treasure in August room. Could it be the fabled bootlegger gold? Probably not, but it might be something cool. The X marks the spot near the doghouse. Yes. Let's do that. But before we go out there, let's find the key to The Mean Boys by August Divine. One day, August rode her bike to town because of how sunny it was. Because it was sunny, her friend Nightshade had to follow behind under the trees because he lives in the shade and shadows and can't go in the sun. August laughed as Nightshade ran along under the trees and she and Nightshade made jokes together. When August and Nightshade got to the town, there were boys outside the general store. They saw August's special tie that made her safe, but it didn't make her safe from At the end of it? Oh, no, the back, the back, the back. Flip it over. Safe from them. The mean boys came closer. They said, who are you talking to? And what are you wearing, stupid? August said, my dad's tie. The mean boy said, your dad must be stupid. August was crying, but the mean boys didn't care. They laughed and laughed. August looked for Nightshade, but Nightshade couldn't help. Because he was trapped in the shade under the tree far away, when the mean boys went away, August went under the tree with Nightshade. August's special tie was all dirty. She gave Nightshade a hug to feel better, but it didn't help enough. That's sad. Poor kid. Yeah. Did she get made fun of a lot? At school and stuff? I think she got picked on when she was little, but she toughened up. I guess right around this age, when we came back from our last summer trip. What changed? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, something happened. For sure. Put that back. Okay, I mean, I guess that kind of explains Ox's behavior now a little bit. Oh, here's the key. Take it. Aha! This must be the key to the van. That's definitely the key to the van. These tickets. Oh, how fun. Wait. Did they not get to use these? Why wouldn't they use these? Good this date only. What was the day? Oh, I may, because they're here. Because they're in the room. So they probably didn't go. I see. No video games back then, I guess. Poor deprived kids. Very true. Very true. I'm just playing. Board games are fun. Board games are real fun. I don't mind jumping into a board, board game here and there. Alright, so here's the back door. Or no, that's just the side door. Okay. Um, Let's check the van. Oh, it's everything I'd imagined. It's got an ugly lamp. An acoustic guitar. A concerning scent of mold? I mean, what do you expect? It's been under this carport for 30 years. That's why I'm not coming inside. Okay, I'll just look around and get mm. out. It is kind of gross in here. No, I think, uh, I think mom may have suffered some trauma and that's why she's probably not coming inside. Um. Probably with that dude she was talking about, too. Wow. Mom was even into theater back then. Huh. 
Murder at Mon Montague Manor. Adapted for the stage by Monty Pretense. Apprentice. Okay. Oh, that's, uh... Wow. Yeah. Brutal, Lori. Brutal. But... Kind of fair. Kind of fair. Let's read it. Dear Opal, are you getting my letters? I haven't heard from you since you told me about Kurt. I've been writing you every week. Things at the park are lame. All the fun people left and now it's just me, Gordon, and the dorks from Sandusky. If I don't get anything back, I'm just going to assume you're too preoccupied with Kurt to write to me. At least one of us is having fun. I'll talk to you when school starts, I guess, unless I'm too busy. Lori. Well, hopefully she wrote back to her friend. Ah, oh, alas. Not so groovy anymore. No, it is not. Is that it? Tar pick? It's like I'm missing something. The school for scandal. Death of a salesman. Okay, well. Exit. Not seeing anything else. I think that's uh, everything in here. Yeah, all right. Find anything? Nope. Nope, we did not. Let's go check for the buried treasure. This is a nice spot, though. I wouldn't mind living here. You ready to unearth this mystery? You are really getting into the mess on this trip. Crawling through old crawl spaces, digging in the dirt. It's for the sake of the adventure, Mom. Don't let me stop you. Hey, we found something. Oh, is this the tie? Dad's tie? I think it is. And that's her in Nightshade. August in Nightshade under the tree, giving him a hug. Damn. Yeah, the bullying really got to her. And her mom, Grandma Helen, did not handle it very well. In my opinion. Goodbye, Nightshade. Thank you for being my friend. I'll miss you. Damn. So this is where August buried her feelings. Mom! Come on, it's sad. Damn, Mom being a savage. What? I don't know. Maybe we should keep it. Maybe August would want it. I think so too. I think we should leave it here. Now we should bring it to her. I think so too. We can just put it in the car. Welcome back, Nightshade. Welcome back. It turns out the real treasure was the friends we made along the way. JK. It was actually the grave of August. And August's imaginary friend, Nightshade. I feel kind of bad for disturbing it. I don't feel bad. I think, I think this will help August. Maybe it won't, though. But I feel like we should give it to her. Okay, which room? Okay, we searched this room already. Yeah, because this was August's bedroom. What about in here? Nothing in here. Besides the crawl space. This is blocked. Um, okay, let's check this room What's first. in here? That was my mom and dad's room. Well, just my mom's room last we were here. Well, dang it, that door stuck. I think, look, we could twist the latch open if... I think I could get this open with a flathead screwdriver. Awesome. Where's one of those? Um... Oh, I had a little toolkit in the glove box of my van. Nice. Hmm. Alright. To the glove box. I bet... I mean, I'm telling you, 
the house is so run down, like just knock that shit down. Just bust through that door. Just throw a good shoulder into it, and you're in. All right, maybe there wasn't anything like weird in this fan or like anything going on, but maybe there's something in the glove box now. There's the screwdriver. A little look into something. I mean, something's definitely happened to mom. She's she's hiding something. Holy shit. Oh, this is from Kurt. Okay, yeah, this is this is the juice right here. Babe, the summer's been real out there, but I've got to split. I'm not hip to it. I'm not hip to another winter with snow. I'm on my bike headed to Cali. Look me up if you're ever out that way. Damn, so he just said deuces. He said deuces. He went out west and then she, her husband, our dad, said deuces as well and went out west for work. Damn. Well, that explains a lot for the mom being a little weird like she's hiding something, huh? Owner's manual. Let's go talk to Find mom anything? about Kurt. Well, I found, um... This note from Kurt, I think we should leave it here. This note from Kurt. This. You guys didn't just drift apart at the end of the summer, did you? No. I came to work at the diner one night, and they said someone had left a note for me. And it was this stupid thing. <laughs> that sucks, Mom. I just felt like such an idiot. I put all my energy into plans, planning how we'd be able to stay together, planning how our life was going to be, planning how he'd be the answer for how I was going to be okay. And then one day, this. I don't know if I've ever cried as much as I did for the week after I got this. Yeah, that would suck. He seems like an asshole. He seems like maybe he just wanted something different than you. No, he seems like an asshole. He seems like an asshole. Hey, language. But he was. But he was. She knows it. All right. You're not wrong. There was a lesson I should have learned that summer. You can't rely on other people. What? If you put your trust in other people, if you expect them to be there for you, one day they won't be. I mean, true, but like, I mean, you definitely got to have people around that you can trust, but she's not wrong. You know, the more people that you allow to come into your life and trust that, you know, you're opening yourself up to getting hurt much more often. So you just shouldn't have friends or relationships. No, you're right. Yeah. So first what? One. you shouldn't have friends or relationships. Well, no, I just mean. You can care about other people, but you have to be ready for them to go away. Yeah, mom put a wall and up that be okay day. on your own when they do. Are you... You're making it sound like... Are you saying dad left you? I thought you said you both agreed to get divorced. <clears throat> well, either way, he's not here, is he? Mom, what happened with you and dad splitting up? He always makes it sound like, like you wanted him to leave, but he does. I, I mean, I, if he's telling you I wanted this, I <sighs> see, this is why you need to be okay on your own. If you're fine on your own, when they leave, you don't have to feel this way. Remember that. Bad advice. Well, I've got the screwdriver. Good. That's good. I get put a wall up when something like that, like that in relationship happens to you, but you got to bring that wall down eventually to let others in if you ever want to be in a decent relationship again. My opinion. Ah, door. We meet again, but this time. I'm ready for you. We open the hey, door. Good work. Thanks, Mom. 
All right. So this was grandma and grandpa's room. I want those slippers. I want those. Those seem cool. An astrology book. Okay. Bible. Another postcard. Darling, now wait. It sounds like someone's getting cold feet all of a sudden. We had a plan. Leo dies. I make tracks for the border. And when the dust settles, you follow me. This doesn't work if only one of us makes tracks. I've got everything you could ever hope for up here. A place of our own. A quiet little town where nobody knows our names. And a pile of cash that'll keep us going till who knows when. The kids will love it too. What kid wouldn't want to live on a boat? Get these silly ideas out of your head, get back on track, and we'll be together soon. So, is is Leo sick with something and he's, like, expected to die? Or is there a plan to murder Grandpa Leo? Because that would be wild. Would you have loved living on a boat? <laughs> I don't think so. I wonder what age he thought I was. He couldn't have thought a teenage girl would want to... Wait. I, I hadn't even thought of that. My mother was just going to take me and August, and we were all going to run off to Canada? I mean, of course she wasn't just going to leave us behind, but... Sounds like Grandma had some big plans worked up. Well, look, he said she started having cold feet. And she must have written him back and said she wasn't sure if she could come after all. You think she realized that maybe her kids wouldn't have been so happy moving onto a boat with some random man in Canada? Can I start calling him Canada Man? You can call him whatever you want. This is so strange. Love makes you do crazy things. Love or grief? Both? The way they're talking, it sounds like Grandpa was sick with something and he was expected to die. Okay. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Can I open any of these? No. Easter goose. Um I mean I don't know if the story goes this deep, but why would you have an Easter goose out on display if this was a summer vacation home? Like, it could be nice around Easter time, but it's not, that's not summer. Oh, my mom loved this desk. I remember when she brought it home from the flea market. Jeez, how many desks did Grandma have? <sighs> uh, kind of a lot, I guess. I mean, she was a writer. She liked to move around. Well, let's see what she was hiding in here. Ugh, it's locked. Hmm. This gives me an idea. The little key from Grandma's diary. I'll simply smash it open. Eh, probably, we'll start with the key. The little key? From Grandma's diary? <gasps> right. Here it is. And that also, like, the bunny slippers? I mean vacation home around Easter time? I don't know. Anyways, we got into her desk here. That's her and her husband, our grandpa. Let's read it. In sympathy. Our condolences. Our thoughts are with you. Janet and David Richards. So these are probably from uh, people after Grandpa died. With our deepest sympathies. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I didn't open it. Our thoughts are with you. Helen, so sorry to hear about your loss. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. The Saltzmans.
Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you, all for you, and those are my kids too. You know I... You know I something have a right? Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you. All for you. And those are my kids too, you know. I have a right, but he, he was going to say, I, need, I have a right. Wait. Is this Canada man the father of August and Opal? And Leo is not actually their dad? That would make a lot more sense. That would make sense with the postcards and everything. He certainly does have a right, unless, I mean, there's something I don't know that he's done in the past. Hmm. Flip over. Oh, we have the place the boat. Boxline hopped a lake. Yeah, that's him. Okay. That's crazy. What? Helen, you can't just leave me here. I did all this for you, all for you. And those are my kids too. That's crazy. Let's talk to mom. What's that? Wh I'm sorry. What? What does he mean? When he says those are his kids. Uh, I... W was Grandpa Leo n not your real dad? I... Could that have been why he was trying to run away with you and August and Grandma Helen? I can't even imagine. Look, look, Mom. Look. This one. This note. It has a return address. Pierre Lautrec. Box 9. Hop to Lake. Carndale, Ontario. We should go check it out. Do you want to go check it out? We should go. We should go check it out. What? No. No? But Tess, we already drove however many hours up here and dug around getting dirty and all this stuff. I'm not driving us to Canada based on some return address from over 30 years ago. We have the rest of the house to pack up and I still need to call the electric company to schedule our end of the service, which I probably should have done sooner and- Mom, stop. Chill out, Mom. Let's just go check it out. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. The house can wait a day. This can't. You're going to pass up a trip to Canada. No, no, no. This one. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really this are. This is your father we're talking about here. It's about who you really are. It's about who I really am. Was my grandfather really my grandfather? Who was this guy? Who, who are we? These are big questions, Mom, and you're just going to turn around and drive home? Okay, listen. Yes. Hey, I, I'm not doing this because of your sterling rhetorical skills. You didn't win this one. I just happen to agree with you. I do want to know who my mother might have been mixed up with and, and why she never told me about it and who my real father is. And if we go check out this address, we might find nothing. But we might find something. So if one more day of driving is all it takes to find out one way or the other, then why not, right? Right. Glad I could convince you. No, you just happen to be right. Exactly. Glad you came around to see things my way in the end. Okay, should we get going? It's getting dark. Yeah, let's find somewhere to stay for the night. We'll look up directions, get back on the road in the morning. Hotel night. We're getting room service. Thank you, Mom. Best weekend ever. But we didn't find that hidden fortune you were so excited about. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side of the border. <laughs> Maybe. Come on, let's get out of here. What the heck? Is this pure Latree guy, or Latrec, whatever that is, Mom's real dad? Scandal, we found an address for some place in Canada. We've got to go check it out. Time to hit the road. Before we hit the road, though, I didn't check over here. I just wanted to see what's going on. A hair clip. Newspaper clipping. 
precious stone? This was to you? Grandma was writing advice to rocks? This was to you? Subtle, right? <sighs> My mother was against me and Kurt being together from the start. To be fair, I would go off to who knows where with him and sometimes not come back till the morning. Now I understand how worried she must have been as a mother. <gasps> you were a bad kid? Do you ever thank your lucky stars I'm not a bad kid? I don't know. You and Francine can stay up pretty late. <laughs> Playing The Sims and eating pizza rolls. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a vibe. Kids are wild these days. Pizza rolls and Sims? With friends? That sounds fun. Next time, let both your tempers simmer down before you try to make amends. Confidential precious person, you're young, idealistic, and you trust easily. You have an open heart and a lot of pain to heal. Don't let someone who's more flash than substance take advantage of that. Looking for advice, write to Millie. Yeah. It was definitely about her daughter, Opal. Okay. Let's hit the road. Let's see what's going on with this... Uh, Canada man and um, see if he is indeed our real grandpa. Here we go. All right, time to order that room service. Uh, this is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well... All right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh. Um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework. I wonder if this diner she's going to is the uh, old one that she worked at. I knew I shouldn't have brought my backpack on this trip. Now mom expects me to do my homework. Well, I guess there's not much else to do cooped up in this motel room. All right, yeah, I mean, fair enough. Ooh, a visitor's guide. Oh. Um. Hmm. What's that about? I don't know what that was about. Why she said it like that. Making sure there's nothing crazy in here. Why did she say, oh, um. What's weird about this pamphlet? Official Visitor's Guide 2001. So this is two years old. Yeah. It's an old pamphlet. All right, now let's do the homework until mom comes back. Let's check text real quick though. Hey, Tess Bear, hope you had a good day. Busy with some work late tonight, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thinking of you always, Dad. Text dad, text Francine, put back, put back phone. Let's text dad real quick. Hi dad. What's up my, t or what's up Tessa Bear? Nothing, just gonna cross the Canada border soon. Wanted to say hi. I had a question. It's about you and mom. Yeah, let's ask him straight up. Let's ask him straight up. I feel a bummer in coming, but okay. Well, you always said mom wanted you to leave and that's why you're not living with us anymore but mom said you were the one that wanted to leave i'm so confused she said that huh well i'd say it was mutual kid but i had a big opportunity out here and i had to take it i understood why your mom didn't want you to come along and that's okay man i mean there's no opportunity ever in the world that i would take and that would that would Take me away from my kids. Like, nah, no way. I don't think there's any opportunity that 
would make me leave my kids. There's no way. That's why you left home and quit Video Galaxy and everything? It's not the same without you here or at the store. Ha. Huh. I'm sure the store is even better without me. Who wants their dad as their boss? But you made the store so fun. The window displays and the Halloween costume contest and movie quote trivia. The new manager is just boring. So what is your big opportunity out there? Well, you know, I headed out here for a new biz venture and I'm in the investment stage. Can't wait to tell you more about you more about it, but just wouldn't feel comfortable till I know it's going to pan out. Just wanted to make sure everything's perfect for when I tell you more. Remember when you were little and you worked on that book and you drew me for weeks and couldn't and wouldn't let me peek at it till it was all done? I still got that book right here with me and you didn't want me to see it till you had it all perfect. This is just like that. You still have that? Okay. Yeah, sure. You understand, don't you, kiddo? Yeah, I can't wait to hear more. Soon, I hope. Got to get back to it. Love you, Tessa Bear. Love you, too. Text Francine. Hey, Francine, we survived the abandoned summer home. And how haunted was it? Very, extremely, a little, not really. Uh, a little. How is somewhere a little haunted? Well, I saw a ghost. But it was just a little one. Aw, a baby. Wait, if there was a ghost baby, that sounds extremely haunted. Oh no. Speaking of spooky, how did your mom react to you telling her about Nevada? Shut up, lol. I didn't tell her. Why are you so obsessed with that? You need to tell her. What if she doesn't let you go? I'm gonna, and she will let me go. Just do it now. Okay, I will when it's the right time. When? I don't know. So, did you find what you were looking for? Um, yes and no. We are heading up to Canada tomorrow. What? Yeah, we found some stuff about who Grandpa might have really been. We're going to see if we can find out more about him. What? You might be part Canadian? Yo, one-fourth maple syrup running through my blood. I'd call and tell you about it when we're home. Reception out here is bad. They got three bars, though. She's got three bars. It's pretty good. We're in a weird little motel for the night. It's pretty cool. It sucks. Ah, it's pretty cool. It's old and vintage, and my mom's getting me a burger from the bar. That's awesome. Well, have you looked around the motel room? Is there anything weird in there? Probably. If I find anything weird, I'll text you about it. Left phone in pocket. Francine wants to hear about weird stuff in here. I should text message her if I find anything interesting. Do homework until mom comes back. Well, let's look for something weird first. We gotta let our friend know. Alright, well, I guess we don't have TV. Coffee. What is this? Huh. I don't know what that is. Weird. Bible. Is that it? Is there a bathroom? Okay. Briefcase. Whose briefcase is this? Oh, our mom's briefcase? Pill bottle. What is this for? Take one pill. I don't know what this is for, though. Uh... I don't know. Maybe Francine will know. Oh, my mom's sleep shirt. 
What's a sleep shirt? At some point, adults get them. They are from a concert or a college. Which is this. My mom's college. That's cool. I don't know. I think it might go right... I think I might go right to work after high school. My mom would explode, though. You're going to hate this. What? Your mom is right. You should go to college. You can do your ideas after. School is long. School is expensive. I mean, yeah, straight up. School is expensive. Instead, I could have a pool. So it's education or a pool. I mean, you take the pool. Yeah, you take the pool. Yes, and I choose pool. Yeah, I agree. I will shut up, but you should go. You're too smart. You need to show them. I just found some pills in my mom's suitcase. I mean, she's 16. Of course, she's going to text her friends about this stuff. Oh, what kind? Phloxetine? I don't know what this is. Yeah, me either. Maybe stop snooping in your mom's stuff. Oh, Francine, you would do the same stuff. Don't act like you wouldn't. Oh, I should probably shut that. Don't want her to know we were looking through it. All right, well, let's do our homework. Hey, it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. Hmm. This burger is my rival, and I will defeat it. Can we, like, listen? I don't think we can. We're eating the whole burger. Lo, I have vanquished the mighty burger. Yeah, we have. Let's finish homework. I just... Do you think... Could dad have... Yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke. Back in a few. Okay. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. I think it's pretty depressing. I don't know what the yeah, I don't want I don't I, know what to think. Honestly, I'm not sure. Me neither. It's so surreal. I can't imagine grandma having an affair, but I also don't think she would have if it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. It seems pretty out of character, but she was an interesting person. My dad. I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom, I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We're going to tell her. We're going to tell her. Nightshade. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. My jade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... 
It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about mom? Can, can she stay with you? Of course, both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. But why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. Love you too, Anne August. Now, what is the mom not telling us? She's... She's been hiding a lot. Text been seen. Hey, I've got to help my dad with dinner. Have a good drive to Canada. Don't let the moose bite. Okay. Um, he's out taking a smoke. Find mom and go to bed. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess? What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, Good that's movie. fine. I can do that. This drive is so freaking boring. I wonder what's going on with Dad and Francine. Wait, where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Uh oh. Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. <sighs> Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. We have to go back and get it. I need my phone. Uh, I will see the first one. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. Francine is going to be worried about me. I just need it. Might be gone. It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you know, your- No, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. Y y you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. Here we go. And now, and now you won't even go back and- Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You never told me about the pills you were taking. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just- lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us. I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house. And when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. <sighs> if you and Dad were still together, where do you think we'd be right now? I, that's a pointless question. Why are you so disinterested in my business? Why don't you like August? Yeah, why, why don't why you not? like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? 
You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself, especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. I mean, that wow. would be annoying. I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder dad left. Ooh. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad? Actually talk about dad for once. Fair. The divorce. The... I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see mm. dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm going From your business. <sighs> I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. Uh... So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. Damn, well good for Opal, yeah. He seems like a dickhead, so... Good job divorcing him and leaving his ass. Fuck that guy. Not only did I lose my phone, but I got into a fight with my mom. This sucks. I guess now we're just going to sit here in silence until we get to this stupid houseboat. What a fun road trip. That was sarcastic. Yeah, I kind of figured. I read it that way. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. To the water. I'm trying to figure it out. To the water. It's a boat. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Well, it looks like we finally made it to the house, but we saw in the picture, most likely owned by the mystery man, aka Pierre Latrick or Latrick. Whatever we find here, better be worth it. There's the boat. There he is. Latrick, that's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. Maybe we can find a key. We found a mailbox labeled Latrec. We can't get into it though. Mom says it would be illegal, but that's quitter talk. I agree. That is quitter talk. Do not enter. Oh yeah, that's right. They they built the dam. And now Yeah. And you can't really sail out there, huh? Can we jump. How are we supposed to get on board? We jump. Maybe there's something around here we can use. 
We want to get across to the boat, but if we try to jump, that gap will break our shin bones. Maybe there's something around here that we can use to get across. We use this. No, maybe something in here. lures yikes somebody has anger issues couldn't just set down the knife gently could you uh, it's kind of fun to, to set him up like that though and she just did it a lot of knives is that dried blood ew ew ew, ew. why on earth did I just touch that Hmm. Maybe from like uh, a fish or something. So nothing else in here. A rope. I guess not. Yeah, nothing else in here I can uh, interact with, so. What would we use to get across? I mean, maybe this? Not that. I mean, I it's probably that piece right there. It's definitely that. Eh, that doesn't seem like a terrible jump, though. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or. But we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think... If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it. Heads or tails. No, just run. No! I'm going first. It's my filial duty. You really think it's dangerous? If I thought it was dangerous, I wouldn't walk across at all. Great, then we'll flip a coin. I call heads. Oh my god. I won! Just let's go. Be careful and stay away from the edge. I wanted to check if we can go back here real quick. We can. I don't know what this is. Damn. All right, we got a boat to explore. Who the hell is Pierre? Check over here first. Probably isn't anything back here. Just send down the ladder, there's a flare gun. All right, let's go inside first. And we can go down that later. All right, we'll go this way. He was drinking. Gentlemen. A 12-page pictorial on the girls of Iceland. 
Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that. Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> Never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? And patterned tights. But really? Put that down. Yeah, I agree with I, I agree with the uh, mom here. We put that down. A safe. Wait, that's not a safe. It's like a stereo. I'm done. Wow, this is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Mm hmm Hmm. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Alright, what about this letter? I was surprised to receive another letter from you so soon. A houseboat is a romantic thought living right on the water, but don't you suppose it might be a bit small for both of us and two children, including a teenager? Couldn't you have written to me before making this decision? We are still here, waiting for the heat to die down. While I'm excited to start our new life afresh, I have begun to rack up worries. How will the children react with all they're already, they've already been through? What do you suppose my parents will think? And us just disappearing? My poor mother, she's already lost a son-in-law. Won't people come looking for us? Are you sure there's no other way? Helen. Yeah, so. I mean, they knew he was dying and stuff like that. A they letter from Grandma. It. Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where we were really rich. One where you and dad were still together. One where you and dad were still together? <sighs> I mean... I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. That's sad. I think it's everything in this room. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? Yes. I'd say you're free to try, but... I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. Damn it. Here's office, whatever's in there could blow the lid off this whole thing. Of course it's locked because nothing's ever easy. Looking for a key, we're looking for a key then. He likes to fish. Captain's hat. A receipt. Received from Mr. Pierre Latrec three thousand dollars in exchange for the houseboat, the Eidolon. Only three k for a houseboat? It's not bad. Three thousand dollars for a houseboat? Are you saying that's a lot or a little? A little. A yeah. little. Only three thousand dollars for a boat you can live on? It's a house and a boat. That's that's two whole things for just three thousand dollars. Some people don't even have one thing. It does seem like he probably got a pretty good deal. Do you think the boat had something wrong with it? Maybe Pierre just drove a hard bargain. I mean, it was probably that, it was probably that cheap because the lake was going to get dammed up anyways. So, like, you didn't really have much time to use it. Travel expense, tank of gas, postcards, lunch, 
motel, six pack of beer, dinner, stamps, breakfast, liquor, and okay. Wait, he's got like forty thousand dollars. Damn, forty grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending six dollars on a steak lunch. Or seven dollars for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. Hmm. Okay. Um, and we can't go down there. Alright, then we gotta go around back. None of these open, right? Uh, cabinet? Okay. Alright, yeah, we gotta go down. The ladder back here, where the flare gun and stuff was. Dodge this! <laughs> Alright. Go in here and the stairs should be up on our left. Yep, there they are. The life jackets. Bathroom. This looks intense. What's the brushy thing for? This is an intense razor. Okay. What's going on here? Is like a package board game. Can we open that? Another letter from Helen. Please don't go on about the silly ideas in my head. My concerns are far from silly. This affects all of us. You say we'll have everything we could ever hope for, but I'm not the one who decided to run off across the border and have silly little Helen pick up her entire life and her children's lives at the drop of a hat to follow no matter how much money was involved. I hope for things that money can't buy, treasured friendships I've held since I was a girl, my relationship with my parents and my siblings, satisfying work where I get to help people, my children to grow up in a loving company of their grandparents and their friends. These are the things you ask me to give up. And for what? Isolation, an unfamiliar place, a leaky boat, money to spend on what? What does it matter if everything else is lost? Based. Hel base take from Helen right there. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. Okay. Well, we can't open up the package, unfortunately. Nothing there either. Now, let's keep looking. We're trying to find a key. Lunchbox. Can't open it. Okay. What is this? Robbers hit again. Important, important. Local and state police are looking for a group of thieves who made off with an undisclosed amount of cash taken from climbing clothers in a blur burglary Saturday night. According to state police, the men broke into the store around 1.20 a.m. They dismantled the store safe, taking the money bag before fleeing. There were no witnesses. We're encouraging local business businesses to deposit all cash to their blanks. And at the end of each business day, said Officer Randall Weston of Porton. Police, until the burglars have been apprehended, it's too risky to leave any money in the store overnight. Michigan State Police have set up an anonymous tip line for any information on the identities of the thieves. Okay, so, so this guy definitely robbed this place for 40 grand. The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. 
Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother... sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events? Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since great. I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. No, I mean, you know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. Damn, well hopefully he left the 40 grand here. We can get the money and then we don't have to move in with Aunt August. And we're chilling. It's a ledger though. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of receipts. Let's see what mom has to say about Boy, it. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. He spent it all. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah. Seems like he really loved it. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little houseboat on the river? Rolls off the tongue. My mom would always watch The Little House on the Prayer. It was always on. It was decent enough, I thought. I didn't mind tuning in for a couple episodes. Coffee can. We are really not finding a key here. Flashlight. Nothing. Wine bottle, though. From 62. Another receipt. Find some alcohol. Wow. That is... A lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. Oh, we got a key. Alright, that should get us in. Hopefully that opens up his, uh, mailbox, too. A megaphone? <clears throat> Attention, every- Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. Okay. Alright. Let's climb back up. Go into his office here. Typewriter. A letter. I received your latest letter. This was this is my final response. 
You say you did all this for me, but you didn't. Everything you've done, you did for yourself. You were the one who was unsatisfied with our home, our income, and always wanted more. You were the one who made the decision to get more money through reckless, illegal means. Yeah, he definitely did rob that place in. You were the one who decided to run to Canada to save your own skin without even telling me until it was too late to do anything but follow along. I'm not following along anymore. You say these are your kids too. Of course they are. But they're my children as well. I'm here with them every day, com comforting their grief, trying to console them over the loss of their father, trying very, my very hardest to keep up the ruse. But I'm getting used to it. Used to doing this on my own. Used to speaking for myself. To living this new life. I'm regaining my footing. I'm starting to feel okay. Um, you say you'll do whatever it takes to make me happy. That you'll give me everything I've always deserved to have. I don't know how else to tell you this, but I think you already have. All I want now is to be left alone. Free to lead this new life by my own means. Do not contact me or the children again. This is over for all of us. I think we were happy once. I hope you find happiness again. Helen. Helen, let him know. You got another key? Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you can be so nosy sometimes. Talk to mom mm. about this. <sighs> so I guess that's it. So I guess that's it. So I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre. She realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? No, not at all. I don't know. I would have gone for it. No, not at all. No, not at all. It was her chance to have her own independence. And who would want to give up their whole life, everything they know, just for some guy and some money? <sighs> People have done worse for less. Yeah, but Grandma had a pretty good life, didn't she? Her advice column, her art, her kids, her house. Maybe she just needed a little time to herself to realize how good she had it. So if if I read that right, um, this dude Pierre was not actually the real dad. He was just saying like they're his kids too because he loved her so much or some weird shit like that. I don't know. Let's go check the mailbox. But that's what I, that's what I'm gathering from this. But it said they have the deal that her kids had to deal with the death of her father of of their father, so obviously that must have been the real dad. Okay, got stuck on something there. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. Uh no, we're opening this. We come this far. Oh, come on, Mom, live a little. Pretty sure the law frowns on breaking into people's houseboats, too. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. I mean, true. I guess, I guess maybe the letter didn't confirm that this wasn't their real father. Yeah, live oh, a little. come on, Mom, live a little. We've already come so far. We can't just stop now when we're so close to the truth. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. Sheriff's Department. Latrec, Box 9, Hop to Lake, Carindale, Ontario. Return to sender. Okay. No, no such address. Yeah. Okay. Next. It's got returner. To whom it may concern. I now confess my culpability for a spate of burglaries which resulted in the theft of almost one half of a million dollars damn i had worked as a property inspector for Geene county for over 10 years 
At a poker game in 1966, I was approached by a man interested in trading blueprints and my knowledge for cash. He and a few others targeted department stores and other businesses that carried large amounts of cash overnight. This relationship developed and I became more and more involved. I was given 10% of the proceeds from the robberies in exchange for information on how they could evade detection from the store security. As time went on, the stores they chose to hit became riskier and riskier. I had no idea to I had no way to back out of the arrangement as they had threatened not only my safety, but that of my family's as well. Seeing no other option, I falsified a death certificate with papers I lifted from the county office. I left my wife and daughters to cross the border under an assumed name, giving them instructions to follow me. They never did, and I regret having asked, having asked them to. Wait. It's the same guy. But he did all these crimes, so he faked his death while he was with them. And came out here. That's crazy. What little of my stolen profits remain, I have destroyed. My wife, Helen, knew nothing of my crimes until it was too late. She only went along with the story of my death because she had no other choice. She is innocent. My decision to involve myself in this ser series of crimes was mine alone. I ask only that you leave my wife and daughters alone. This is my confession. Leonard Limbros. That's him. Leo. So he never died. He never died back then in 68. He faked it because he did all these crimes and ran away. And then she was like, I'm not, not coming with you. Whew. That's wild. Uh, okay, there's just two here. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right. I... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. That makes a lot more sense. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. It kind of did happen, though, didn't it? Yeah, I'm really sorry, Mom. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you'd thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. That really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe it. I can't believe he just abandoned us. All this time, he was... Here, uh, he gave up his family, his children, for an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother living a lie for the rest of her life. I can't. I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it while she was alive. I just. Okay, Mom, now this is your time to recognize and realize that you should talk more to your daughter about your relationship with your ex-husband and all that. Wish you could have been there for her, too. Wish she could have trusted you. Wish it didn't turn out this way. Um, yeah. Wish it didn't turn out this way? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything, even when we were all grown up? Maybe, maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little, but I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession and disappeared and he never came back? 
Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. Mm -hmm. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful... Hard-working... Stop, stop! You make me cry! <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Okay, so we're gonna get the full story here. So hopefully, uh, Opal realizes what her what her mom went through, and she's gonna not go that same route because of how it makes her feel now, and she'll end up telling Tess what is actually going on with her parents. You know. So let's let's find out. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about... What happened with me and dad? Uh-huh. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems, our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. That's kind of cool. That's insane. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's certainly, uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's following his dreams. He might not make it, but he is going for it. Hmm, yeah. I mean, I guess I never really thought about it in that kind of light. I mean... I wish he could have been here, but he had a dream, and he had to follow it. I get it. Right, right, my little web entrepreneur. It's like Matt Damon in Rounders. It's not really like Rounders. I mean, he wins a lot in Rounders, and he's a lot more handsome. He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse, and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married. Said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... This was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? No, I get it. I just wish she was here. I mean, yeah, of course she just wishes he was here. I just wish he was here. I miss having him around. Yeah, 
It's hard to have a dad who just leaves. At least I can still text him. For you... I mean, we thought he died. Which was still awful, but... I guess it was way better than knowing he was there all along, just a day away. I'm sorry, Mom. Thanks, Tess. I'm glad that... well... Your father has faults, but I don't think he'd ever fake his own death and never talk to you again. I mean, if there wasn't anything good about him, I wouldn't have married him in the first place. I'm sorry... for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought... I don't know, that Dad, like, explain everything to me in a way that made sense, and that he was living some great life out there. No, you... you shouldn't... apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Uh, are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> Come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but... But it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like seeing Kurt? Like doing... Yeah, like doing like Kurt. Like doing Kurt? I'm gonna let that double entendre pass right by me. But yeah, it's hard to let go. To see you as an adult, not just... my baby girl. Mom... You were so cute back then, even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep, and it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about the whole August thing. Moving in with her? Yeah. I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? Seems like a good choice. I mean, yeah, it does seem like a good choice. Just until, until her mom and Tess get their footing, you know? It seems like a good choice. Even if it's just for a while, at least we'd have a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Are you worried about the theater? Or my school? These days, I'm worried about everything. But I'm confident, too. Confident we can figure it out. Yeah, 
We've been through so much this last year. You've been through so much. I just... I have to have faith that we'll continue to make things work. Yeah. Me too. I will say... August's house is pretty nice. Her bathtub is the size of my bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it'll be worth it for the bathtub alone. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad... I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too. Aw. Well, very nice. A very nice, happy ending. Got some closure on what happened with Opal. And... Tess's dad and why they got a divorce. He seems like a, a decent dude. Doesn't seem like a dickhead like I said earlier. I don't know. I still would never just up and leave to go pursue something at the expense of my wife and kids. But that's just me, you know? Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. But a nice little happy ending to this one. Got closure on who her real dad was, and turns out the two guys were the same people. Kind of fucked up that he faked his death, though. Kind of fucked up, but I guess, I mean, if the people he was robbing uh, stores with were, was threatening the family, then it makes sense he would leave, right? Because he doesn't want them to ever link him to his family so that nothing bad happened to him. Over Rose was developed over many years by many hands. The voice acting, phenomenal. The voice acting was really, really, really good. Probably the best thing about this game was the voice acting. It was very good. Very good. Similar to Gone Home. Gone Home's voice acting was, was great as well. It was great, but cool. A nice little happy ending to this one. I don't think there's going to be anything at the end here. Of the credits, but yeah. Sweet. Well, I'm glad I had the time to, to sit down and play through this one. We knocked it out in just one play session. So that was fun. A nice little cute game here. Happy ending. All went very, very well. And I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play series or full gameplay walkthrough. Whichever one we're doing next. I'm not too sure what we got planned out after this, after this one goes out there. But again, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.